Hi, I'm Jeff King. I just wanted to go over uh, dynamic batches in an open source project that I have on GitHub. It's called King.Service. Um, and it's really meant to use uh, for dequeuing against Azure storage accounts. Um, the big thing that, uh, that I have seen is the need to do batching, um, but not necessarily knowing what your throughput is going to be like in production. Um, so really building a piece of software that takes into account the amount of time that it takes to process a message and therefore can determine what the correct batch size is uh, on a DQ call. So just to make it very simple, um, you attach it to a queue and you have a, a consumer of that queue. Um, so this consumer is going to pull the queue at an interval. Now the thing that it does is when it starts up, is it will start um, dequeuing uh, a singular message. Um, and then on subsequent calls, it will determine that it can actually um, call for more messages. Um, so if you give this process time, it will determine the maximum frequency. Um, and then we'll just draw a really big one and we'll say like 20. Um, it will determine how many messages it can process off of a queue based on the processing time. It's really important because as you're running through your 1 to, let's say, 20 messages, it keeps track of the time. So let's say this is 30 seconds. Um, it keeps track of the time of, of enabling all of those messages to be processed. And when it gets near to the 45 second mark, it understands that it can either batch an additional message or, or batch less messages to ensure that there's enough headroom that it will be able to process all of those messages. So in actual runtime, typically what happens is you'll find it go up, 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 up. And then when it gets near the threshold, you might find that it goes down to 19, and then it might go back up to 20, and then it might come back to 19, depending on the, the actual timing that it takes to do the, the processing of the batch. So I will put links below to that library, but this is a really efficient way to do batch size when you're not sure about how many messages you can process um, off of a queue at a specific time. The other thing that's really good about this is if there are any issues with what you're doing during the processing of the message, um, like something slows down, uh, this will actually come down and ensure that you're, you're only dealing with the number of messages that, that your process can handle. So I'll put links below to the open source project. It's also hosted on NuGet. And feel free to get in touch with me if you want a deeper understanding of this. It's pretty straightforward, but it's actually really powerful in the way that you can use it. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.